Once again, this helmet cam, what we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. These are the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. I'm at the bottom of the mobility is progressing. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, it sure looks like a perfect world. Jared Isaacman now emerging Copy from... Copy with you test matrix one, watching from the nose cone. Up, down, left and right are three. Pitch and roll are three, yaw is a two. Switching. Single-handed operations are fine, static, and with dynamic disturbance. Switching to left hand. Up, down, left, and right are threes, maybe a two. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared is performing. Operations, dynamic and with disturbance are all adequate. Test matrix one complete. HUD check, 5.3 PSI, 48% RH, 33 decimal nine Celsius. SpaceX copies, test matrix one and HUD readout. Yeah, he'd be one good. Oh, you think that's four one good? So I think that is. Okay, stepping into vertical translation. We're going to start with the horizontal bars. And EV1, go ahead and continue the operation. Uh, we'll let you know we're back on with live video. Max reach, let me aid, and the mid bar. That's 
Test matrix two is complete. Let me down. 5.3 psi, 33 decimal nine Celsius, 50 percent RH. Copy test matrix complete and HUD readout. Through off check, EV one's good. EV two good. One good. Plus two good. Stepping into test matrix three. Hands free demonstration. EV one SpaceX for ingress time. Go SpaceX. Recommended ingress time of O2 flow plus four seven minutes. Copy that. Ingress time, four, seven minutes. And Dragon, we're back on live video from the nose cone. Copy that, SpaceX. TV1. I would say the hands-free demonstration is very comparable to the trainer in terms of the foot restraints. SpaceX copies. And ED1, when you have time, if you'd like to return to the reach demonstration, uh, we'll take a look at that with a live video. Copy that. Test matrix three is complete. The HUD readout is 5.3 psi, 47% RH, 33 decimal A Celsius, and stepping back into max reach. Copy test matrix and as you can three. See, top of the mobility aid. And uh, let's get a quick crew off check. EV1 one said. EV two said. I'm good. What two said. Copy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same, top of the mobility aid, and then the mid road. Copy, we see it. Checking up from the bottom. Any go back, SpaceX? Negative. We got about one minute until EV1 ingress. Copy that, one minute. He wants to see the size of the control to the right of the right foot. one we're checking out your helmet cam now. Well, I'm checking out your nose cone right now. And looks pretty good. Copy, we'll return to nose cone. See you looking at us. All right, we're coming up about that O2 flow timer time. Two check for ingress. EV1 good. EV2 good. that it took to get us to this point. We know it's just the start. And I'm transitioning back in the vehicle.
Right, so Jared back inside. Uh, we, we heard him going through what's called the test matrix. Uh, it's basically just a bunch of maneuvers using different hands, using the foot mobility. Calling out numbers. Right now, though, we're doing, you just heard Arthur call up three dot resets. So we didn't use any of the forward thrusters while Jared was out there. We're re-enabling them, putting us back in our perfect attitude before Sarah gets ready to go out the door. Fun thing to note, it's still not a perfect vacuum inside a Dragon. It's, it's an open loop system, so oxygen is kind of getting dumped into the cabin as this is going on. So you got a higher pressure in Dragon than you have outside. So we're not worried about thruster floating. Yeah, now you mentioned Sarah, um, just like Jared, she will have 10 to 15 minutes uh, outside, perform those same sets of mobility tests as Jared. Uh, like we heard the core do um, with EV-1, uh, they will call out when there's one minute remaining. Uh, SpaceX, attitude reset complete, EV-2, go for egress. There's Sarah's clear to proceed. Copy. Crew check for EV2 ETS. EV1's good. EV2's good. Four good. Four two good. EV2 is going to go stand in the door and then step outside. <laughs> <laughs> now this test matrix that uh, Jared just performed and the one that Sarah is about to perform, they have both committed to memory um, in order to execute these. Um, we saw it being done pretty efficiently. I yeah. can't believe how quickly that time went by. Mike, we were talking about how your spice box for hours and <laughs> these right. guys only have 10 to 15 minutes and it's just like that. Yeah, it, it can go pretty quick, and uh, but fortunately... Um, that still looks good. I see a little bit of a bulge between 14 and 13. So you're hearing Sarah call out some more of the seal check there as, as she's exiting out. It's three seated. SpaceX copies that report. Good fix. So this was something we knew might happen, um, and this Sarah... between 28 and 27. Copy. The crew trained on exactly what to do in this scenario, just pop it back in. And Reseat one it. final between 19 and 18. Closer. SpaceX copies. Can you repeat the location? After EVA complete. Between 19 and 18. All right, copy. I'll track that and uh, ask again when you're in dress. Copy. EV2 is proceeding with egress. Super exciting to see this. Our fellow SpaceXer, yeah. Sarah Gillis, now about to make her spacewalk. EV1, I'm going to hand this back to you. Like we mentioned, Sarah will be performing the same. Uh, set of mobility tests, uh, so we will do the same, uh, try to stand by and listen to those comms. said it before, a lot of us wear characters, we want to do this. All right, stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. 